This is the No Face Movements, December 21st, 2012. And like I said, this is breaking news. Um, this is Solar Watches for December 21st, 2012 till December 24th, 2012 on uh, Space Weather. Um, today we entered a central galactic plane that's pulling on our sun. And it's also the solar maximum. And here's the proof. Alright, and I got some disturbing news on uh, NASA's lie. So I'm going to be bringing in my next video. Alright, um, here's the proof of our sun entering the central galactic plane. Um, on the other side of the sun, it's super active. You see non-stop solar flare. It's from the gravitational pull of the central galactic plane. And we entered a solar maximum today on December 21st. So to all your naysayers, um, that it's not the end of the world and all that stuff. But this is not, like I said, it's not the end of the world. But we are going to go through some experiences. That is the beginning of end times from now through the next five years as we're entering the central galactic plane. And we did enter the central galactic plane today. And solar maximum only lasts a year. But with the central galactic plane gravitational pull, it might last a little bit longer. Let me zoom this in. So I'm putting warnings and watches for a geomagnetic storm. In a, another day or two for uh, December the 23rd or 24th, arriving at her, Earth. As you can see, it's erupting on the other side. It should be going that way. All right. But you can see that the winds, watch this. You can see this one right here. You can see the cloud coming out this way. See it? And same with this one. My bad, this one is going straight out of space. But this one is actually coming towards us. So I'm putting warnings and watches. And you can see how active our sun is. Because they're astonished. NASA's astonished by this. Not even just up there in the uh, northwest limb of the sun, but also down here. You can see how far that's coming right towards us, folks. All right, now let me go back. Um, I got warnings and watches for X-Class solar flares. To the 24th, and maybe past that, from these sunspots. You can see that 1633 has grown over uh, 24 hours from last night. Alright, you can see 1634 is uh, still the same size, but it's a filament. Or is it 1633? One of these is a filament. It's connected to this one. So if that erupts, or this one erupts, it's all going to be connected. Alright, so I got X-Class solar flares for that, and it's still growing. Look, look, it's stalled out right there. Then I got warnings and watches for X-Class, and still growing, 1635. This is actually going to be the biggest one when it comes where 1633 and 1634 is. So I got warnings and watches for that. Alright. Um... Our aurora, the North Pole aurora, looks dead right now. There's nothing going on, no solar winds, no geomagnetic storms. This is the sun. We got three coronal holes. Solar winds should arrive towards Earth on the 22nd or 23rd. Alright. What's weird about that picture, like I said yesterday, it looks like a face. Our sun has awoken, and like I showed you, this is what they're saying. The earth side of the sun remains quiet, but the fire side is growing restless during the late hours of December the 20th, and continuing through December the 21st, 2012. The solar helispheric observatory S-O-H-O -O, has recorded a series of CMEs flying over the solar limb. So they admit it's flying over the solar limb. Alright. But they say the source of the clouds appear to be multiple blast sites on the far side of the sun. This means Earth is not in the line of fire. And I just showed you guys. We are in the line of fire for this side. You can see how big this eruption is. Let's watch it move right towards us. Bam. So I got warnings and watches for the 23rd, 24th for geomagnetic storms. I got warnings and watches still out from the central galactic plane alignment for earthquakes, supervolcanoes, and for more asteroids getting sucked in 
by the Central Galactic Plane. And this is breaking news too. Tomorrow, December 22nd, I'm going to link at the bottom so you can check out my old video with all the proof and facts. Um, Nibiru flies by. 163899. Alright. Anytime you see a number in front of a quotation mark, it means it's a minor planet. Alright. Anytime you see this, just quotation mark, it's asteroids, meteorites, or comets. Anytime you see a number in front of quotation, it is a minor planet. Alright. And 16 is means it's a it's a minor planet. Or it could be a solar system. Um, I did a lot of research. I dig in it. You can't find this on NASA or none of that stuff because this is a sh sh situation. I'm going to have the links at the bottom. So I'm putting warnings and watches for a strong gravitational pull from this thing. All right, folks. It's 59.8 lunar distance away. That's pretty far. All right. But the, when it sweeps by, it's going to pull on our Earth a lot. All right. And uh, there's also another minor planet. Can you guys see it? 33342. And on December 23rd, minor planet 162911. All right, that's 61.1. I want everyone out there to be safe. Have bug out kits in your home and your place of business and your car. Um, you never know when a national disaster or catastrophic event could happen. Like I said, today ain't that in the world. And I never said that. So to all the people sitting there, oh, it's that in the world and hating on me because I said it's not that in the world. And I never said it was that in the world, but we enter. For fact, the central galactic plane, and it's the beginning of the solar maximum, and I got proof. And Nibiru does fly by tomorrow. There's going to be a link at the bottom. That's more proof, folks. And CNN uh, got something about NASA's covering up about December 21st. But um, from just entering the central galactic plane and the solar maximum, from filling the, the events from it, it takes time, folks. So like I said, it's going to be a time thing. Alright, we're going to see a lot of stuff happening from now to the year 2015. This is the movement, moving, moving to next time. Please rate, subscribe, and comment. Facing off.